Hi, Nick here. It's the third week of July and um, we've had uh, one of our first sunny days in a very, very long time. Um, we've had a lot of rain uh, through the whole of uh, um, July. June was quite warm, but July, one of the wettest months and some of the most rain that we've had in an extremely short period of time. Um, last week, we had so much rain that the Duas River just, just kept it together and didn't burst its, um, its banks. Um, and this morning we had some frost, so, you know, from the sublime to the ridiculous. But in the background here, I've got some fermenting barrels, um, the last of the last. I've still got about one to two grams a litre um, of sugar still to ferment out of these barrels. And as you know, at Oldenburg, all the fermentation that I do is natural. So it takes a while, but uh, putting them out in the hot weather warms up the fermenting wine in here. And when the wine's at about 20 degrees Celsius, it's very happy, the yeast are happy, and fermentation is taking place. We've also got some malolactics on the reds finishing up, um, so almost there. And myself and Jürgen have been working on some great blends in the last week. We've put together the new Stonax blend, we're working on the Grenache blend, and the new Per Se 2023 blend's also been put together. So exciting stuff, it might be uh, not be harvest time, but uh, a lot happening inside the winery. On the red wines, we've been busy been doing a lot of racking where we're actually cleaning up the wine. So about in the year and a half that our red wine spend in barrel, we rack the wine about three times. So we basically remove the wine from barrel, pumping off very slowly off the lease uh, to tank. Uh, the sediment at the bottom we will throw out. Um, and then from the tank, we'll bring the wine back to barrel, but only first after cleaning the barrel. Um, we do this a few times to clean up the wine and the, the whole idea behind it is that I've moved away from any form of filtration on my red wines at Oldenburg. So uh, by using the forces of gravity, we naturally clean the wines. And in the vineyards today, Christo started pruning our first uh, clear day in a very long time. He started off with the Guillaume Chardonnay. Okay, because then you have your perfect position of being a Guillaume. It's a little bit twist, twist, twisted around here. So, but this one brought out very nicely. So if we get our two shoots, with this, our one, our future at the bottom, the other one on top, future at the bottom, one on top, we can develop it there. And then we can use this one for the crop on top. We can cut it off and we can develop it in. Morning, morning everybody, uh, Chris to you. Um, yeah, last week this, we had a week of a lot of rain. Uh, so we started prun pruning last, last week, but indoors. So we did a lot of training with this indoors, talk to the, uh, a little bit about what's going on to the vine and how we want to select what shoots and what buds it is to keep. Then we went outside, we did a lot of training, the ladies trained together, they helped each other. And now we're outside in our Chardonnay Gio block. And we did a bit of training uh, this morning and now the ladies is paired up, they're helping each other where to select, this, uh, select the right buds, the right shoes to keep for the future. And these two will lay, then cut here. Ah. So. And we always kick off with the Chardonnay, uh, starting starting with the gear block, then we're moving over to, to some of the Eshola Chardonnay blocks, then the, the normal vertical shoes development blocks, and then we'll, we'll go on from there. Then uh, next will, will be the Grenache. After the Grenache, this will go over to the Shannons. Uh, after the Shannons, we'll go over to the Cap Francs, Merlots, and Shirazes, and then Caps, lastly. But don't let cold weather or rain put you off. As you know, the Oldenburg Tasting Room has two beautiful fireplaces which will keep you nice and cozy with a great glass of red wine through this cold and wet winter period. So I hope to see you all soon in the tasting room, but remember, bookings are essential.